Yes. I got him. So, me and Andrew weren't there, so I don't get a approval without Catherine. No. Yeah. Probably not. She's at the budget. She's at the budget like, committee meeting. Yeah. But you want to just take a look at it? Sure. What I do with it? I thought I threw it over there. Yeah. Oh, right here. Right here. Oh, wait a minute. Do you want to go over this with Catherine, or do you think it's fine? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah. So what, what meeting is that? That's, that's the 17th. That's the 17th. August 17th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's F I E. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah. it seems like it should be F E I. But just remember, phi, like oh, phi. F I E M. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I make F -I -E -M -B -E -R -G. a motion. F I E M B E R G. Yeah. I make a motion that we accept the October 12th uh, non-public session and. September 21st with spelling correction. I'll second. Okay. Guarantee approved. I, I do. Alright, so then we'll make a note to have the. Uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, where Catherine wrote it, I mean, I, I think it's supposed to have two people. They supposed to have two people approved it? Yeah, what is the yeah. 
idea when the abstentions follow the majority. So there that cause. I don't know if that counts with one person. Yeah, I know. But so I mean, what do we have to wait till Catholics here for a meeting? Who was, who was here? Huh? Who was here? Catherine and you and Karen. Oh, that mean that everyone canceled everyone. Yeah. So the question is, do you guys have to abstain? Yeah, well, we have we to have abstain. To then there's only one. But is one vote good enough to carry that? It's going to have to be. Huh? It's going to have to be. It's going to have to be. These are not high stakes. So you want to approve that, Karen? Yes, I do. Catherine, a minute. I do. I move to that. Thank you, Lee. That. Catherine, a minute. All right. And then we've, so we have a budget hearing tonight at 7.15. We do? Did no one read the email? <laughs> yeah. I kept looking. Yeah. I didn't get you, but why didn't they send us something with, when did you get it? Sandy called me on Tuesday? Monday? I, I didn't get no email. email. I didn't so, we'll, uh, we'll keep this brief. At seven. I guess so. Yeah. Now you're on my list. Well, read your emails. I, I, when did you send it to me? I sent it with the agenda yesterday or today. Today. I I'll take some flag for that. Uh, surprise. Uh, director's report, Sandy? Uh, yes, right. Um, well, the only thing I really have to report is that we've been trying to figure out the staffing. We have one person left, and, uh, and very fortunate uh, that Robin Feld. Over from Gemstar over in Field or Crystal Moon, uh, work there, and she's going to take Saturdays. And Donna Holman is going to be our fill in whenever we need her. Oh, cool. Right. So, as far as I'm, uh, I'm going to meet with Robin tomorrow for a couple of hours. I'm really pleased with Donna. She, is, she just seems to be really sharp and on the ball. I haven't met with Robin yet. Uh, but it seems like everything has fallen into place as far as staffing nice. goes. So I think that's about all I have to. Uh, we are going to be open Halloween night with the, so the kids can come in and get a treat and whatnot. Uh, and that's about it for my area. Sandy, do you know how to, what's Donna Holman spell her last name for me? I beg your pardon? Donna Holman uh, spell her last name. That's it? Mm -hmm. That's the way it sounds, eh? You're going to be open Halloween. Um, ordinarily, the um, ordinarily the trunk or treat is five to seven, but I'll tell you by six thirty it's dead. So yeah, are you sure, going? No, we'll just be open, and kids can come and get a treat, and also treats will be also like little boxes of crayons and stuff oh. like that, as well as a little treat. So. And, you, and you're going to post something about that, probably? Yeah, or? I'll put it on the, I guess I'll put it on the Facebook page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that people know. And then have we looked into more of the, the book club bag to go purchase, knowing that we've got the, the money to do people it? People that run the Reads to Go program are really discouraging Susan's selection of Cloud Cuckoo Land because of its weight, literally safety reasons with the bag, 15, 15 books would be too heavy, I guess, for a bag. I, it's a little baffling on that, and it's not a giant book by any means, uh, but they are discouraging it. So if Susan wants to have that from what, for one of her book club selections, there's like 150 available on interlibrary loan, including large print. And so what Susan and I have done is asked, what selection would you like? And so they gave us six possibilities, and Susan will bring it to her book club and discuss okay. it with them. So okay. nothing um, has been set in concrete yet on that. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you, Sandy. You're welcome. Treasurer's report. <laughs> Okay, here's the budget versus <coughs> actual. Um, since then, media has 
Um, we spent 300 more, so we're something like $43 down from the 12, <coughs> 1200 No, I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Karen. That squiggle that looks like, it looks like it says or, but that's one of those ampersands or whatever you call it. So, in other words, and 300, not or 300. Um, okay, in September, $300 was transferred from the trustee's account to the director's account. Deb was paid about $22 for tape. Uh, the town reimbursed the library 400, I'm not going to say the cents, about four, uh, $483 uh -huh. Uh -huh. for media and supplies, which went into the trustee's account. Uh, we did have an anonymous donation last month, which I believe I accidentally announced who gave it, and I apologize. And um, what was the anonymous? That went into How much? Uh, $45 that went into the trustees account and the interest <coughs> in September <coughs> was about $77 thank goodness for CDs or yeah. we'd be getting you know 80, we were getting 30 cents with CDs a couple of years ago <laughs> that's true and um, Sandy does a great job on these, uh, what she spent on media and supplies, and it's all here and it's all reasonable. Yep. Um, books and necessary items. So uh -huh. I approve. I approve anything Sandy does. <laughs> and um, hey, sounds like my mother. I I think that's all I have. Great. Uh, can I make a? Comment on Karen's report. So sure. it looks like I'm pretty much on target with media, and since we have uh, three months left of wages, which will include training, uh, I'm not sure what professional development is. Uh, it seems like, for my part, media and wages and supplies, I'm on target. And if the concern is we're underspending our budget, it has nothing to do with um, media supplies and probably wages, it's the unexpected um, low, uh, low charges of heating fuel, restrooms, and utilities. Well, I will say that wages, we spent two-thirds and we only have a quarter left, so there should be some extra there. A Still. little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, but I was going to ask a question about the restroom. Who owns that? Yes, I couldn't remember Does how, JB we, how yeah. we got the new... We just need to like tattoo this on our bodies because this comes up all the time. Um, that one, JBC owns. He must own it. Cause so he, he let us use it for free and then we pay so much a month to have it clean? Or whatever, how often we do it? Which, if I may butt in... Let me see if I have. Sorry. Do you remember? Um, remember what? If, if we the, own the it, or is it still Well, we never, we never paid for it. I was thinking about this a few days ago, and I was like, he, JBC must own it. It would be theirs. Pay. I think they own it. It would be theirs, and they make their money when they pump it. Uh, yes. And we, they don't charge any fee for uh, so. using? Huh? No. Uh, I called JBC twice. Yeah, it's there. It's another name. Oh, I know it has their name on yeah. Twice now, because we haven't gotten a bill since July, and I said, please, we need a bill so we can pay it, so it can I be... thought he was sending him to the town. Well, the ta he hasn't sent it to the town. And we went through a big thing so that the town could take care of it, and we didn't have to have anything to do with it, but that... So you're saying the town's not we... getting a bill for the... Because don't he do several? I now? haven't seen one. Doesn't he do several in town, though? Yeah. Doesn't he do the dump? Or the transfer station. Yeah, he dumped the rec field. The and the rec field. Oh, he does the rec field. I believe too? so. Is it JBC? I don't know. I thought those were ads. <laughs> so we said. They that are theirs, but they do the pumping. Okay. So maybe we.
we should ask Sarah to address that and see what's going on with that, since they're supposed to be getting the bills. Yes, and a year ago or something, didn't we decide and vote that, that they could just get them and we didn't have to... I wasn't here a year but ago, but I think it was... Well, it was a year ago. I think it was in the springtime or the late winter. Yeah, so you we're, might not have been here. I wasn't here. Yeah. Usually it was, um, you know... Right, the town would take care of it like utilities, and then we would just... Um, so, so, anyway, so that's who I, I would call. I wouldn't call him anymore. I'd call, I'd talk to Sarah. Okay. I did get a hold of Barry. I forget if that had to do with, uh, it might have even been a, a non-library thing. Anyway, he said he's working seven days a week, so I suppose he doesn't have, doesn't have time to bill us. But yes, I'll ask Sarah to get on. Just get check with it and make sure we're okay. Yeah, okay. The last thing we need is complaints that we're not paying. He's not getting paid on time. And, right. and I believe that was the issue last issue year. Before, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, if we underspend our budget, <coughs> do you think we should be thanked for offsetting taxes instead of penalized by not having enough to operate for the next year? I don't think that's how the town operates. That's not how a lot of places operate, not just the town. So well, you, I've been on other departments where in November we're looking at a wish list on stuff we don't really need because we're afraid the budget committee is going to say, well, let's cut this budget by $4,000 because they only spent, you know, this much. Right. And instead of, like I said, thanking the department for being conservative and offsetting taxes and giving the money back to the town, which are the taxpayers. Well, that's logic, not governmenting. You said something about going to the budget committee tonight. Yeah, I didn't realize it was tonight. I've been a long I didn't day. <coughs> so, anyways, <Sorry>. okay. <laughs> What's next? Can I, I ask me uh, how well, you so feel about that? About what? About the budget committee thanking us, thanking any department for being conservative, but they don't need to spend the money. For instance, we thought we needed a new printer, but then we. No, no, we don't. Do you thank the departments for giving the money back to the taxpayers, or do you penalize them for not spending their whole budget? Um, it depends on the department. <laughs> depends on the personality. <laughs> okay. Andrew was at the meeting last night. You saw what I did with Jeffrey. I did my own cut of his. There's other, so, okay, that's all I there's other departments that I would say, yeah, you're fine. You guys are like just over halfway through your budget now. Two thirds. Yeah, or, yeah you're 21 years, well, 11. Well, I'm looking, at the, I'm looking at the wrong line, uh, the wrong percentage. Just over, well, yeah, just over half. Right. But for the size of your budget. I wouldn't worry about that. We'll find out tonight. You know. Hi. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the treasurer's report and purchases. I'll second it. I'll uh, yep. All right. Great. Um. We can sue that though. Okay. Then I rescind my motion. Yeah. Does that make you? She just puts the director's report. We don't have to accept. Anyways. Whoops. Oh, Thank spilling, God it wasn't water. You're spilling the water. Uh, library project uh, updates. <laughs> Next steps. I heard good news about the fundraising. Yeah, so we sent out the pledge letter on October. I'm not sure of the specific date. It was the first week of October. And uh, our goal was $50,000. We believe we've reached, uh, I'm pretty sure, I haven't got it from the Treasury yet, but I'm almost positive we surpassed 35000 this week from all private donations, all private pledges. And when did you request that those be in by? W those pledges would be submitted, we would send them, everybody that actually pledged would get a letter after the grant, if the grant is approved, and then the town votes yes. The town has to vote yes first, so it would probably be after the town election if everything goes well. That would be the, the earliest we would say we need to. We can't 
ask for the funds until everything is approved. Oh, but you want the, the pledges in by when? Uh, the pledge is in by the end of this month, uh, by November 1st, yeah, by the end of this month. So, um, thank you. Yeah, because the uh, submission of the grant, I think, is like near the end of November. Right, after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think it's after Thanksgiving, but I think it just opened up. I think it either just opened or it's going to open in the next few days. But the, 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 thing for this is we need um, to match, we want to show the Community Development Finance Authority, which is the one, uh, what do you call it, giving these grants, I mean they're not giving them, but you know what I mean, they're administering the grants, and we have to have a 15% match, so we want to be able to show that we already have that 15% match. <coughs> Right. prior to uh, them, you know, so they're more likely to say yes. Um, I do think that um, the trustees are going to be requested to sign a letter of support right. and <clears throat> willing to spend, if need be, probably no more than 10000 out of the Capital Reserve Fund if we fall short, but that looks like it may not happen, but in case we do, they want, they would like a letter for the application. This is not us doing anything, it's just for the application that the trustees would support uh, requesting, uh, I would say up to a certain amount from the capital reserve fund to make sure we make that 15% goal. And again, nothing gets spent until um, the, the grant is awarded and then the town passes it. Nothing, nothing gets spent. I just asked you something. Yeah. Um, where sure. the numbers come from? Like the fifteen percent and the fifty thousand. The fifty. Well, the fifty thousand was just the goal that we thought we could achieve. Okay. That didn't have anything to do with the fifteen percent. You know, what I mean, it does, but I mean, that's not the whole fifteen percent. We think we we got to get. I believe the numbers haven't totally come in yet for the building. But I believe we're looking at between seven and nine hundred thousand, and okay. so our fifteen percent is like a hundred and twenty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand. Don't quote me on all those numbers, but that's that's where we're you know looking at right now. Okay, so like uh, if the way the calculation was laid out on the uh, table, there would be something like fifteen percent of X equals. 50,000, right. approximately, right. more or less. Yeah, it's about 15% times whatever we're asking for, we have to come up with. So, and we believe it's going to be that we need to come up with 125, 135. We, okay. you know, we've almost got, and we can use um, stuff like uh, we've already purchased the barn. Uh, we've already had to pay uh, to disassemble it. Um, so that has already been, I think, around. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's, it's up there. And then um, we also can use like all the work that the engineers are doing for pro bono mm -hmm. for the septic and the building uh, siting. And there's also going to be some architectural work. So we can use that, those two. Plus, um, we got a, uh, I don't, I'm not, I think I can talk about this. I, mean, I think so. Yeah, and plus we also, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Burn Foundation, no. but they support, like they actually have a whole big burn center for palliative care. Oh, yes. Right, palliative okay. care. I know what you mean. And they actually have a burn theater okay. part down in Northern States. So Dorothy Byrne is a senior person who um, funds a lot, and she's uh, pledged 25000 to this. Okay. Yeah. And the last I heard this morning was that we're up to 40. Oh, that we're up to 40, so yeah. that's looking so we're good. pretty close. Yeah. Um, so. And we have a couple more foundations that we're applying to as well. Yes, yeah, so I think the, the Real Hubs were in a really good good spot. I like think we're in a very competitive good competitive spot. spot for I'm very grow. happy with the response. We sent it to every uh, landowner, which was Sandy's suggestion. It was a great suggestion. So they're coming from all over the Northeast. Um, 
it's not unusual to open an envelope and see a thousand dollar donation. You know, pledge, pledge. Yeah, it's been, been some people are sending checks, and we're keeping that separate, of course. Because now that fifteen percent, uh, that's just a round number that you're coming up with. That's not a requirement for the grant. That is, is a requirement. Is a requirement. That is a requirement. Yes, we have to have fifteen percent okay. matching to get the grant. Okay. And I'm not sure you have to have it right up front, but we want to be able to say we we've, right. we've got it. You know what I mean? And do we know? So we're not we... using any. We're not using any of property. Well, we're not using any new property tax money. So get all your buddies to chip in. Um, do we have? Uh... <laughs> so by November, we need to approve the letter that we're. Writing and support, so I should have a draft for us to yeah, approve you should. at the November meeting. Yeah, in fact, we may end up holding a special meeting in the meantime for that one letter. So yeah, okay. draft going up though, would you? Or I'm can we write that out in the minutes? Um, okay. So if you can we just preemptively give, give me approval for the letter? Article? They don't start until like, January. Oh, I thought oh, share no, is yeah, I, I motion that we allow Andrew to write a letter of support. And do you think that we all should sign it? I thought we might write it on the last of January. Okay. Sure, let's all sign it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think that shows uh, unilateral support. Okay. And so we're we're still waiting on Mike to provide a site plan for us to approve. Is that I correct? Just, yes, I just finally got a hold of him yesterday. He said he's working really hard on it. Um, so I'm hoping that very shortly, okay. I'm hoping within a week, okay. we got a site plan in hand. We might not get, I don't believe the town is uh, going to set the re approval request, right? Yet, I don't think they have. Because he's supposed to be paying for that, he's going to pay that as a donation, and put in just for a septic approval, not a pl just a plan, a plan. And I think that the selectmen need to sign off on it. We haven't got one. Okay. But it's just a plan. You know what I mean? It's just a. There's no nothing going on. Just a plan until we get to the let the old town vote. Great. And then we should also think about uh, going to the selectmen at some point in December to present the latest in our plan and to seek a uh, warrant article approval. Yeah, I, I, I told Elena that she needs to, too. So, yeah, that would be a good idea that yeah. you and Elena, too. And I don't, you know, I'm, I don't mind going because I've been involved so much, but, you know, regardless, I think it's important that, that the selectmen are. In fact, I wish we should have been going to them. A long time ago, in my opinion. No, well, we don't. We don't, don't have any talk. concrete plans yet, or any of the updated plans yet. Well, still, it would, would have been just nice to really uh, make them aware of all everything we do in the pledge letters and all that. So the warrant article is just to appropriate uh, the uh, money for the, the grant, or, or or what? Yes, it would be for acceptance of. No, the, the warrant article would be like <laughs> yes to accept it from the money from the grant, right? Yep. So essentially, a raise and appropriate a certain amount with zero money to come from taxation is right. the general wording right. of that article. And I think, though, there is a chance that we might not know at the point of writing the warrant article. Right. So we're going to have to possibly write a warrant article that says, if the grant is successful, will you and accept the blah, blah, success, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So that's got to go through the lawyer on how that's worded. And that's just to cover the cost of the building now, right? And there's no other. No, it'll cover. It'll. Uh, we plan on cover. It'll cover landscaping. Uh, it'll cover septic. It'll cover the building. Okay. It'll cover the parking lot. Yeah. It'll even probably cover some. You know, everything inside, like bathrooms and you know all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It no covers operating the... costs or anything like that. No, it ain't going to cover operating costs. Okay. No, absolutely not. All right. Uh, I'm looking at I'm looking at the schedule. Leaf, do you 
this is I know you're in budget mode right now. Do you know when the selectmen are doing their uh, approvals? It must be in January for yeah, Warren Arts. In January, I believe we have to have them all in by the end of January. We right, should, so right, so we should probably check January. on that though. Right? That's, I'm sure. trying to find out right now. Yeah. For some reason she's not answering her phone. Okay, I think actually. So, I think, <laughs> So last, uh, <laughs> maybe if I text her, she will. Probably would. <laughs> so Friday, January fifth, just so we have it on our radar, is the last day for voters to petition the select board to include an article on the warrant. What's that? What day? The Friday, the January fifth, and then Tuesday, January 9th, is the last day for voters to petition the select board to. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, really, you're messing me up. Is that for budget items too? Sorry. Oh no, that's a bond. Okay, sorry. Tuesday, January 9th is the last day for uh, us to petition the selectmen, and then. Monday, January 29th is the last day for select board to post warrant articles. No, wait. Oh, God, this is... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna All right so whatever. Right, we'll we'll figure it out, but we've got a while. Okay. Do you know, Gary? It's one thing for all of the uh, warrant articles, and it's something else if there's a budget involved that's above a certain amount of money. Right. The bonding is the first one. Yeah. Well, zoning changes are the first. Bond is the second. Petition, and then the selectmen right. have time after I was always that, confused right? by what came, what, what came first. Yeah. yeah. The chicken and the egg. I, I believe the uh, date to uh, sign up for voting and warrant articles are the same day. Oh, really? I believe. You mean a cutoff? Yeah. Sarah's looking it up right now. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah. So did you have a question about the warrant article, Gary? You said something about, so the, is that the warrant article? No. Ah, okay. Maybe you did. No. Okay. No. Okay. But we need to get that info. We need to get that info. Um, yeah, we, we've been actually really impressed with how the, the way people came through. Yes, yeah, that's People impressive. writing the big checks. $5,000 checks, $1,000 budgets. $1,000 checks. Yeah. checks. And great. then there's a lot of 25s, you know, which is great. You know, People do what they can afford. Yeah. Uh... And then we're just talking about committee updates. So, uh, Garlic Fest upcoming. Garlic Fest review was on last hugely yeah. successful. We made over two thousand dollars, and we still got some garlic here that we're selling. So we've made over two thousand dollars. Very successful for the friends of Grafton Library. It was really a good thing. And so. Um, and in the rain or in the drizzle, which is. It actually didn't rain until like two thirty in the afternoon, okay. which was great. We didn't do the pay rides, but. We did everything else, um, and then on the 28th, pumpkin carving, Elena and uh, Carol, uh, pumpkin carving and watercoloring at the Snack Shack, and trunk or treat on the 31st that a lot of people come to, not just the friends of the Grafton Library, a lot of people come to that. That's at 5 uh, five, yeah, usually five to seven, but like I said, six thirty is. Pfft. I'm freezing. I'm going home. <laughs> and the pumpkin carving is two to four on that Saturday at the snack shack. Welcome all people to come. Saturday the twenty eighth. Yep. I'll be in Pittsburgh. Oh. Elena posted it, so I'm assuming she got the okay. I guess you you have to go through Ed to do the snack shack. I think Sarah. Was, huh? Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, we tried. The property. That's where you go, that's Sarah. By the time the property. It's the same as the. That's what I thought. It's on the hall. But somebody somebody told me we had to go through Ed. No, you go through Sarah. Okay. Well, we must have done it, and we must have done it right because Elena posted it. <laughs> Let's hope. Okay. Yeah. That's all, yeah, that's terrific. So yeah. last year we started reviewing them in December. The water articles? Ones that you might uh, Oh, yeah, like your own, like... Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. She's going to look tomorrow. And but I, I'm thinking if, if you guys go to the selectmen's meeting, 
you know, you could 